TV shows. There are so many to choose from nowadays and I love it when you come across a great TV show that you just get stuck in and you have to watch no matter what. A TV series that I did get stuck in a while ago, it's ended now, it was called Blood, Sweat and Luxuries, which was more of a factual show. I thought it was great. Those of you that don't know what it is, they took a group of people about my age and took them over to different parts of the world that were in poverty and basically got them working doing the jobs of those people. They went to a place where they worked making leather, where they did coffee, they went to a place where they basically had all of our recycled goods. It was like a big trash dump basically and it was really really good. These particular people that they chose to go there were those that loved their accessories. They loved jewellery, trainers, leather, coffee, you know, they particularly chose people that overly had all this stuff and couldn't live without it and it was good seeing their reactions and how they might have changed from it. One of the guys that I liked, who a lot of people really hated him because he did come across as though he was kind of stuck up or whatever, but I quite liked him because he, I don't know, it was just funny whenever he decided to have his own little moments. Uh, he was called Oscar and yeah, he just seemed really kind of like, oh, I'm gonna do what I want kind of person. The reason why I quite liked him is because he seemed to be someone who he'd always say the wrong thing and he'd always kind of piss people off because he'd, he wouldn't work as a team and he, you know, whenever he was making an argument and he'd completely be saying the wrong thing and people get pissed off at him, I think I could kind of tell that he was just saying it wrong. He was a good person at heart, but he just, I don't know, but it, it amused me so much, especially when he had a big argument and was like, I need to phone my mum. I'm, I'm Seriously guys, I'm going, I need to phone my mum. That was funny. But anyway, the, the main bit of the show that I liked was at the end when this guy, Oscar, is supposed to be a vegan. Okay, and that's one of the problems he had, especially when they went to the leather place. You know, as a, a vegan, it was completely wrong, and I completely understood that. But, I then discovered at the very end, when the, the, the film crew kind of went over them, I think a few weeks or months or something later, to see what they were then doing, Oscar then says how, oh, he'll never wear leather again. And I was like, hang on a second, so you're saying that before the show you were a vegan that wore leather? How does that make sense? Is is it just me or is that hypocritical? So yeah, I found that quite funny. But overall I did really enjoy the show. Another show I've recently gotten into is Ashes to Ashes and Life on Mars because I'd kind of seen Life on Mars advertised before but I don't know, I just never really thought to get into it. And then, I don't know why or when, but I watched an episode of Ashes to Ashes out of curiosity. And then I suddenly clicked that they, the programmes were linked. So before watching anything else, I went straight to Life on Mars. Again, for those that don't know, Life on Mars is about this guy. He has an accident, he gets put in a coma and wakes up in, what is it, 1970-something. I should know that. He wakes up in the past. And then after that series ended, they made Ashes to Ashes it's different character instead of the guy Sam Tyler they have a, a woman that goes back in time and this time she's 1982 I think um, so she's there like a few years after Sam Tyler went there and it was just a really really good show and like I constantly wanted to watch the next one but out of all of them the final episode Ashes to Ashes oh my god I loved it I couldn't believe how good it was and like the funny thing was is that without, I'm not going to like, in case other people haven't seen it yet and they want to watch it, I'm not going to say what happens, but the ending is kind of like, it's one of those so obvious endings that you think, why the hell did I not get that? And it's like an answer that you should have known and you should have easily picked up, but because of the, that must have been like the writers, they made the story seem like it was in a different direction. So you were, you know, you weren't even thinking of the obvious because they were leading you on somewhere else and then like, it just hits you at the end and it's just, that's what I thought anyway, I thought it was awesome. And I'm kind of sad it's over, but in a way it's not, because I do like programmes where they don't go on and on and on with series and more and more and more. Because then it just kind of drags and you're like, yeah, okay, you know. And that's when the story kind of ends, but I love it when they have short series and it makes a great show. They were two of the TV shows I really got stuck into lately, um, as well as others like Doctor Who, but everyone always talks about Doctor Who, so I wanted to talk about other shows that not people talk about a lot. And they were good. As well as all that, I think you all know now that I've finished uni. This is like, like my last, my last less than a week now living in this house and then I'm kind of gone. Bleh. I'll be moving back home to the smuggler's port. Oh yes. Looking forward to getting rid of some of this as well. <laughs> I need a haircut.